Riled Kitty. <coughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Riled Kitty. And today we're playing some more of The Silent Age. This is part nine, chapter nine, Inside Archon. <laughs> Archon. Archon. <laughs> uh, I was saying it wrong the whole game. I was saying Archon like a fool. Yeah. Yes, what happened last time, RK? You want to do a little recap? Uh, we got into, we like went into that like disco club. Yeah, and like a subway, I think. Oh, yeah. Basically, the mm -hmm. goal is to find a dollar so we could buy a drink and steal the disco ball. Yeah. <laughs> and then we shot, I think we shot the time traveler. Oh. I was trying to shoot the fan. I don't know. I was confused what happened. I was trying to shoot mm -hmm. the fan, and then like the camera panned over, and Lambert went running, and he was all bloody. Yeah. So let's see what. Well, let me read this, and then we'll see what what happens next. Upon infiltrating the labs, Joe finds himself racing the clock. He must destroy the Polaris supercomputer before the time pilot departs and returns with the virus. All right, let's destroy Polaris. Whatever it is, I'm in the I'm in the elevator. I think I knew that. Okay, nothing really exciting there. Control panel. Door is open. Welcome to Archon. Archon. Hey, it's right there. Just shoot it. Take that trash can and smash it. Large processing unit. Mm -hmm. This oh. isn't it. The computer I'm looking for is in the room at the end of the hall. All right. So that one. Run, Joe! You're racing against the clock. This is it. Get in there, destroy the supercomputer, and prevent the time machine from taking off. It's so close now, my stomach's getting butterflies and my ears are pounding. Usually these things tell you the access card color you need to get in, but this one's unmarked. Okay. So what do I do? It opens by card reader only. Alright, let's go to the future. Hey, the door's open. That's handy. Here, yeah. This corpse has something like a green card or something in his hand. Hey. Ooh, level four access card. That sounds helpful. Can I just like walk through this door? It looks like it's open. Oh, yeah, there's the thing I used the band-aid on. Oh, it's right there. Polaris 9 supercomputer. Smash it, Joe. Not much to look at now. It's hard to believe this was ever that important. What's this sign say? Most of the letters have peeled off. It just says cat me eh, cat meals. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back. A lab coat? What's left of one anyway? A few tattered shreds of a lab coat. Alright, now what does the sign say? Sign reads, caution, keep away from liquid materials. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Hmm, well, Maybe I want to pour some. Dump your drink on it. Oh, you drink it. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's showing me. It. This is it, the computer that controls the whole thing. This is what Dr. Lambert wants me to destroy. So what's inside here now? Oh, there's a time machine right there. Instant camera. Hmm. Instant camera. There's even film in it. Why would they keep that in here, though? What does this say? Something to do with the time machine. I don't have much more than that. I don't have a great track record messing with these things. I better leave it alone. Can I, like, get in here? <sighs> Still here, just like Dr. Lambert said it would be. Anything in here? Yep, it's as useful to me now as it was before. I don't see anything in here to pick up. Locked from the outside. Hmm. What do I use this camera with? No. Watch Dragnet. If I get caught down here, the last thing I need on me is a photo of the crime scene. What's this now? Hmm. No. I don't know. Should I try to get in that other area? Maybe. Hey, 
Hey, I'm in. Finally get to see what's inside here. What? There's people! This is horrible. Oh. Those tubes over there. They have people in them. What kind of sick experiments are they doing? I agree. Oh, well, wait. That must be doc what Dr. Lambert was talking about. These people aren't dead. They're frozen. I don't really remember him talking about frozen bodies. I don't know what they do, but I know I shouldn't be messing with them. This little screen shows like... Let's keep track of people in those tubes. It's empty. Can I get in? Nothing to photograph. What about these dudes in the tubes? Even though Dr. Lambert prepared me for this, seeing it with my own two eyes makes my blood run cold. No pun intended. So confused. Can I go back? Oh jeez, you're both skeletons. It's horrible. I bet he never thought that tube would end up being his tomb. What's this one say? Ugh. Is there anything else in here to pick up in the future? Right. Oh, geez, there's a guy in here. Wait, is that my friend? It's Frank! Oh. Before I talk to Frank, I'm going to go over here. Ow. <laughs> Fluorescent light is pretty bright. There's something really wrong with these x-rays. The spine on this guy's all bent out of shape and both his legs are broken. His left arm isn't even connected at the shoulder. Ugh. Bad. This cabinet drawer is unlocked but empty on the upside. I think I just found a temporary fix for that leak. Oh, nice. I can fill it with water. Maybe I can pour it on the supercomputer then. Or is dripping into the empty drawer. Hmm... Locked. Is that anything? Trash can? We got an apple. What am I going to do with that? Or I can t talk to Frank, I guess. Frank? Oh! Hey, <laughs> Joe. I didn't see you there. What's he doing down here? Me. I can't believe you're here. They told me you quit. I got to go upstairs and everything. Quit. Oh, right. Yeah, well, you know me. I'm a career opportunity guy. Something else came up. Management gave me your job. Well, sort of. The same responsibilities, at least. And, well, my own, so... Is that right? Well, good on you, Joe. Best of luck. Now, if you'll excuse... They said you already left. Did you forget something? Well, no. Uh, well, yeah, I forgot... Something. Listen, I'm a little tight on time here. Wait, what are you even doing down here? Well, like I said, I was given your job, so... Oh, right, right. Well, still, this part of the lab is actually off limits, so you probably shouldn't be here. No, right. I know. I just happened to see you, so... Well, I need to get going, too. I, there's some important... Uh, there's a... A spill I need to mop up. Hey, can we grab a beer down at Izzy's when this is over? This week, I mean. I could really use the company. Beer? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Frank's acting Wait. a little weird. Guess yeah. I'll <laughs> leave you to it then. Should I throw his apple core at his head? Knock him out? Let me take a picture of him. Smile. No, Frank really does not like having his picture taken. When I snapped that shot of him at Izzy's last year to commemorate his 30th anniversary, he nearly snapped my wrist pulling the film out. Sheesh. It won't open. That's it's a retinal rude. scanner. I remember Frank telling me about these. They had them installed after those environmentalists broken last year. So can Frank, can I use Frank's eyes? You're supposed to look into that eyepiece. But only if you have a pure soul, at least that's what Frank said. <laughs> I think you might have been kidding about the last part. Well, let me look into it. I got a pure soul. Access denied. Take a photo of Frank's eye when he's not looking. 
Hey, smile. Use the apple core. <laughs> but, or do the time machine and maybe the door will like, be open. I don't know. It only works with eyes. Apparently, it doesn't work with apples. Is it? All right, well, let's see here. So if I go here. Now is the file drawer filled with water? It's empty. How oh, mysterious. I feel like there's gotta be it's locked. Hmm. I'm trying to think for a second here. What is there? So I have an apple core and a camera. This file drawer is filling with water. Leaky pipe. What's he say on that? The pipe has a leak. Well, let's maybe go back out for now. Okay. Creepy man. Creepy man. <laughs> oh gosh, I just realized that one guy's eyes are like glowing. Yeah, I agree. This is the man, and that's the creepy man. Ugh. And it's frozen with his eyes open. So you said. Mm-hmm. All right, nothing else in here that I can see. No console. Nothing out there but an empty hallway. Right, let's go back out. I don't, I'm trying to figure out if there's something with these... Well, interestingly, so he said it with his eyes open. Could that have anything to do with the retinal scanner? Oh, that did it. Hey. Hmm. Let me try that with the retinal scanner. I thought he said he didn't want to take a picture of the bodies. Maybe I missed it. All right, let's see if that works. I right, will. Nice. All right, there we go. There you are. Why the hell haven't you done anything about that leak yet? The leak? Hello? Anyone home? The leak next door, numbnuts. Do you have any idea how much the research in those file cabinets is worth? No, of course not. How could you? Just fix that leak, or so help me God, I'll have HR fix your walking papers. <sighs> Wait. Look, I'm sorry. We're all under quite a bit of stress right now. I'm on my third pot of coffee and haven't had a thing to eat yet. I could get you something from the vending machine if... Vending machine? Vending machine? Gee, thanks, Professor. I never thought of that. If I could have something from the vending machine, don't you think I would have? I didn't spend eight years at Cornell earning two doctorates just to have some schmuck buy my lunch. I'm on a diet, moron. Sorry, I'm it's kind of a jerk. I'm getting agitated again. Diet? I'm not sure I It's an all fruit diet. The missus ordered me on it after my last physical. The irony is that it's supposed to help me with my high blood pressure, but now I'm just as angry all the time from low blood sugar. Tell you what, you find me some fruit, I got an apple cover for me while I slip out for a quick break, and I won't report you for the leak. Anything will do. Uh nectarine, perhaps, or an apple? Yeah, an apple. That's the <laughs> ticket. I would an eaten apple. I'll find you an apple. Make sure that you do. And fix that damn leak. Sorry. He... Temper again. Is he desperate enough for a half-eaten apple? Is this some kind of joke? What's the matter with you? I'm... I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, well, I mean, I kind of have an idea. Maybe, like, is there anywhere where I could, like, bury the apple core? To, like, make an apple tree? Oh, that's smart. That's really smart. I would not have thought of that. Because there's, like, some dirt in here or something. Dust pan? I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Did it have a bunch of dust in it that could double as dirt? <laughs> That's a good question. Corpse. Ugh. You might not have been nice, but nobody deserves this. I 
I don't really see anything useful. So now I have a dustpan. Maybe I could like dig something with that. Is there anything in here I can take to photographs? Some really scary photos here. All very sick looking people. What the bubbling beaker? The label on it. Hydro hydrofluoric at it's some kind of acid, I think. Alright. Let's go figure out if we can maybe plant an apple tree in the past. That's a really smart idea, though. Maybe I could put it in here. Maybe it just needs water. Water dripping from the ceiling. Need something to grow it in if I can't find some soil. Okay. Yeah, so I think we're on the right track. So maybe that dustpan's to, like, dig up dirt or something? Hmm. I have to find dirt. Where is dirt? <laughs> is there any dirt? Unless I was missing and there's just dirt in here before I go searching too far. Any dirt in here? see any. I just have to check each room. I have a feeling it's probably in the future the dirt. Like somewhere in like a busted up. Dirt. File drawers. Hang on. Your pages are completely crossed out with black mark but the rest are still mostly readable. Do I want to read it? December 3rd, 1971. Our latest results seem to indicate the pathogens altered when subjected to time travel. The very idea is ludicrous, of course. Time travel does not affect matter, but the numbers don't lie. Upon the return of an infected host, cellular growth occurs at an order of magnitude faster than when it first enters the body. We didn't notice it at first because we naturally sought to capture isolated cells. But after the most recent mishap with Higgins' torn suit, we realized that it only seems to happen when the pathogen travels inside a host. Again, the very notion of cell growth accelerating exponentially due to time travel makes no sense. I'm sure we'll find a rational explanation, but more rigid testing will be required to get to the bottom of it. Huh. Dirt over here? What would you do if you were in this situation, HB? <laughs> I would just scream, I guess, and hide. Oh. i go into the fetal <laughs> position and cry. There's some soil. That's what I needed. Oh, nice. Scoop it up in the dustpan. I got it. Hopefully we're good now. Actually, I would be... What the heck? What is that? The whole building is falling apart. Jesus, loud. This has to wait. I gotta find out what just happened fast. What is that supposed to mean? Definitely came from the end of the hallway. Did the time traveler leave or something? Did I mess up? No, the time machine is gone. This wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> what are you going to do, Joe? Think, think, destroy think. Destroy the panel. Okay, calm down. Think. Maybe if I destroy the computer in the next room, I can still make things right, but I need to move fast. Sounds like a plan. Actually, if I was in this situation, Arcade would be super heroic and save the day, just like Joe. You just said you'd scream and hide in the corner. I know. I changed my mind. I got brave. Okay. What the heck just happened? Meanwhile. This means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments too. That's right. That means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? So that's happening at the same time as this? Is that what that's supposed to be telling us? Right, I better click double click so I run because I gotta go fast. Save the day. Alright, put the apple in there. <laughs> Plant an apple tree. Go to the future. Get an apple. Look wow. at that. Fancy. Nice. Easy as pie. Alright, now give this guy a non-eaten apple. Ron Joe. And you brought me an apple. Good. There's no eating in the lab, so I'll just pop out for a few to get some fresh air. Anyone asks, I'm up on 14 redacting Tuesday's pathology reports. Got it? Just don't touch anything. Sir, 
I'm going to touch that beaker and I'm going to pour it on the supercomputer. <laughs> By the way. Really? Shouldn't have said that out loud. Bubbling beaker. Hydrofluoric acid. I bet I can do some real damage with this. All right, let's go. Run, Joe, run. The world depends on you. Our unlikely hero. I don't... I don't remember what the deal with the frozen bodies are. I'll have to go back and and watch um watch that part again where Lambert was. Oh geez, there's the blood. Oh no. Oh, can I just like pour this on the computer? Oh wait, don't. Should, do should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Wait, I don't want to go Shut in there. Shut up and pay attention. You are standing on the brink of an extinction level event sent in motion by greedy halfwits eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. Oh, crap. Gotta hide now. Can I just pour this on the... It's happening. Oh, jeez, there they go. Oh, we got arrested. Ha, <laughs> uh. All right, I'm just gonna pour the acid on the computer and then see what happens. Here we go. Sorry, computer. Whoa. Holy cow, it's melting right through the control panel like a hot knife through butter. Should I go in there now? Oh, it's Lambert. I was supposed to prevent this. This wasn't Lord supposed to happen. Keep your voice down. Yikes! <laughs> Shh. You, you're alive? Well, <laughs> for a little longer at least. But how? I faked it. What? Faked what? You detailed this exact scenario to me 40 years ago, remember? <laughs> of course you do. To you, it was a mere day ago. The earlier version of you had to see me die and get dragged off, so as not to alter the course of action that brought you to my doorstep in the first place. And yet I had to survive long enough to assist you in carrying out your mission. So I staged my premature demise. So, you're, you're not dying? <laughs> oh... I am dying all right. Despite my better judgment, I attempted to circumvent getting shot by taking a different route to the labs than originally planned. I foolishly believed I might actually bend the rules of cause and effect. The gaping hole in my gut makes it pretty damned evident how that turned out. Dr. Lambert, I... No more questions. Did you destroy the research data like I asked? The computer? Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Thank God. Now there is just one last matter to attend to. I need you to stop the last time, pilot. The one who just left. Fortunately, we know exactly where, or should I say when, he is. The device. Give it to me. You see that console behind you? Check the numbers in the first line of the fourth column and read them back to me. Four two nine four nine six seven two nine five. Are you... Are you sure that's correct? I'm sure. Dear God. <laughs> what? Could it be? Fascinating. I have configured the device to return you to the same destination. Here, <laughs> take the device. Go end this. One last thing. <coughs> you can never, <laughs> never. Dot dot dot. Doctor Lambert. Tell me what. Are you, Doctor Lambert? 
Sir? He's dead. He's not breathing. Well, should we go to the future, wherever the heck we go? Yep. Where do you think it's going to take us? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. It's probably, is that the end of chapter nine? Nope. Somewhere in the distant future. Yep. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. What? Mobius trip. What happened? How long have I been out? The last thing I remember is using the time machine. It usually makes me a little lightheaded, but never anything like this. All right. Well, that's where we're going to stop. Oh, oh, he's still talking. My time machine, it's completely broken. Anything else he's going to say? All right. I think we're going to wrap up part nine there. Okay. okay. If you enjoyed this video, if you're enjoying this Silent Age series, give us a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Those likes help get these videos out to more people mm -hmm. on YouTube, and we really appreciate it. Leave us a comment. We love the comments. Oh, we yeah, respond we to basically everyone. Share this with a friend. Consider subscribing if you're enjoying all of Riled Kitty's videos. Yeah. You want to see more? Most importantly, come back for part 10, the finale, which will be the next one we post. It's like Joe's in the future. He's about to wrap things up. But until then, I'm Hag Baby. I'm Riled Kitty. You're watching. Riled Kitty. We'll catch y'all soon in something new. Bye, Bye. everyone.